Hello, it's Scott Manley here. A couple of days ago, Arca Aerospace announced to the world that the era of clean, safe, affordable electric rockets were upon us and they were going to revolutionise rocketry with their LAS-25, the Launch Assist System, which at this point is supposedly a 25-tonne thrust rocket sitting on a test stand in Romania, fuelled by water. Which sounds pretty cool. A rocket fueled by water seems like a pretty good idea. And if you think about it, the Space Shuttle's main engines were fueled by hydrogen and oxygen, which produced water as an exhaust. So, um, yeah, water does actually work. But I think they're certainly over-promising or making claims that may not be entirely honest. So they have this really slick video that talks about how they can revolutionize things because regular rockets they put, produce pollution in the atmosphere the fuels are cryogenic or they're carcinogenic or they're explosive or possibly many of the above but they don't mention that their fuel when it's in the tank is scaldingly hot 250 degrees celsius water which is probably even worse i think i would rather have them spill a bunch of kerosene near me rather than spill water at that temperature because that will strip the flesh off your bones in seconds uh <laughs> yeah um so their their idea their design is the fuel tank or the propellant tanks all right sorry has a bunch of heating elements in the bottom of it that heats the water up to about 250 celsius it's held there at a pressure of something like 15 atmospheres and then it f blows out through a rocket nozzle and supposedly there's some extra heating that goes on there that will be powered by lithium polymer batteries and they talk about 42 megawatts heating power and it makes it sound like that's what they will use in flight but that seems like an awful lot you would need 50 kilograms of batteries per second to supply that that's from you know, lithium polymers but you also you got to kind of keep in mind how they got to this current situation how they got to this current design so arca aerospace the first time i heard about them they were talking about a single stage to orbit rocket which was going to be propelled by a linear aerospike running on kerosene and liquid oxygen and that immediately i was like that does not sound that sounds way too ambitious for what it could be because kerosene and liquid oxygen doesn't really give you the specific impulse to get you a single spadage to orbit with any usable payload but you know I, I figured they were overstating things they uh, then started this web series to show that they were going to build and test their aerospike but instead of running on kerosene and liquid oxygen it was going to be a subscale demonstrator with uh, hydrogen peroxide being decomposed so it decomposes to oxygen and steam so that's you know kind of close to what they've got, got today they would have it pressure fed running over catalyst bed and then the flow would carry it out and then it would direct it through their aerospike surface and this was actually a you know, fun series to watch they looked at a lot of details interviewed a lot of things and then it took a bizarre turn when the CEO, Dimitri, was charged with fraud, had to leave the country, and things just, that basically killed off the US operation. But he did come back and defend himself in court and win, I'm going to point out, before anybody, uh, you know, goes too far and assumes that he's, you know, doing, he's a bad actor. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he returns to Romania, starts doing the same thing, builds a test stand, and yeah, instead, they, they come up with a new design for the aerospike that they want to test, but they were, gonna, they were then going to start their initial test with a regular bell-shaped nozzle. So that's another change in their plan. And then about November of last year, the announcement goes out that they cannot get access to enough hydrogen peroxide fuel. Their suppliers are no longer producing it. They might have new suppliers, but hey, we've got a plan that will allow us to test it with another mystery fuel. Uh, the mystery fuel is kept under wraps for quite a while. I, I saw a posting a while back where they said, we've moved four tons of fuel onto the site. That should be enough for a 10 second test at 25 tons thrust, which I, it sounds like they got water delivered. And I'm going to say 25 tons thrust, you know, four tons of, uh, that, that makes about sense given that uh, steam rockets get specific impulses of, you know, 100, maybe 150, depending upon the temperature. 
the the problem mainly is that you you can't heat it up and keep it pressurized in the tanks reliably at, at that level so yeah they're not that great in terms of performance but their pitch is that this is a first stage which can be recovered reused recharged reflown and then the second stage uh, would be say their you know a linear aerospike based rocket so I could see this sort of working, but on the other hand, if I were an investor with money, I don't think this prospect, this project sounds particularly worthwhile. My main objection to this is that they're using batteries as a heat source, and batteries have a really lousy energy density compared to almost all the alternatives out there. Like Batteries are great because they give you electricity, and electricity is a highly ordered energy form that you can use to power your electrical pumps or your actuators or your computers, but they're really lousy if you're just going to be generating heat because there's so many other ways to get heat directly. So they could be using a chemical version of this and it would make much, much more sense to me. I mean, a lot of this looks like they've been running the whole operation on a shoestring budget most of the time. They've got investors that kind of come and go and they're always doing things to try and attract new investors. Uh, there was one point where they took a bunch of drone motors and put them in a big, you know, big box and created essentially a hoverboard and tried to uh, you know, run a Kickstarter for that. They got all sorts of you know cool video and pictures of that, but never went anywhere. The, they had a drone, a large like you know something that was like a predator-sized drone that was electric. Again, never really got anywhere. They've talked about uh, aircraft, rocket planes. They built demo demo hardware. Again, never went anywhere. And their Haas rocket was originally a two-stage rocket using a conventional nozzle until it got reinvented as this single stage to orbit with a uh, an aerospike. As it is right now, it reminds me of that episode of Mythbusters where they took a regular water tank and blocked off their safety relief valve, they turned off the thermostats and they just heated that thing until the internal pressure burst at around 350 pounds per square inch and the thing literally took up vertically like a rocket going hundreds of feet in the air. And you know, running rockets off of water isn't necessarily a new idea. There's actually a lot of studies about using water from you know, extraterrestrial sources. You can heat it with a reactor, you can heat it with electricity, which it totally works. And I've actually seen some designs uh, or concepts or papers about a microwave cavity thruster where they basically heat up water to incredibly high temperatures and squirt it out the back and they're getting specific impulses which are way above that of chemical thrusters because they can heat up so hot in this area. Now that looks really really cool I don't know if, if that's going to get anywhere but again you know, rockets powered by water aren't a new concept and they're not necessarily a bad concept but I haven't seen anyone proposing a steam rocket as the first stage to a conventional rocket. So maybe it gets somewhere, but I personally don't think it will. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.